Good morning, good morning. Back at it for another episode of What is Broken Now? <laughs> so, this morning I'm going to work on the head unit on the camper. I pulled the old one out. I'm going to plug it back up so I can show you what it's doing and why I'm changing it out. So, on these old head units, um, don't mind the mess because I'm making one. Uh, on the old head unit, it went right here and it's got the wood grain just like the rest of it so this is the wood grain conveniently my phone's ringing be right back all right i gonna try this one more time so i removed this panel i need to figure out why the cigarette lighters are not working as well so that's going to be part of this process but with the old head unit you've got your antenna wire and you've got one other wire that plugs into the back of it so this is the old head unit and it's one of the flip out screens so the screen comes out and it flips up and it shows you your uh your backup camera and all of that good stuff so that's what we use it for and i'm gonna show you why i'm changing it out but this is the new head unit here i went with the boss audio just because it had good reviews and i'm not i'm not able to get anything really really good so it's got the antenna wire which is this one here then it's got all of your other speaker wires like a normal head unit does and then the other wire is here so this one plugs into the white plug there and it's got all your audio video and all of that good stuff now my problem is with the old style it has a brain which is this box here so all my wires run into there and on this side well i can't get those wires to reach up to here so I have to extend it, which is why I'm going to use some wire I currently have uh, to extend it. So I'm going to splice in from there and run it up to here to where it'll plug into the back of these. So that's what I'm going to do today. Fun, fun. So I've got, let's call it 20 something odd wires to splice in. So that's what I'm going to start doing. And in between that when i'm taking a break i'm going to trace the wires out for the cigarette lighters and try to find out if it's a blown fuse or if the cigarette lighters are just broken um i bought new ones but my problem is is they don't fit in that spot so i'm gonna have to drill the hole bigger so before i drill the hole bigger i want to see if i can get these working um but that's today's project and uh, i'll kind of show you i haven't seen anything on youtube about this or how to do this now, there is supposedly a direct replacement for that Panasonic in this. Now, this is a 2001 Newmar Mountain Air. Um, but the problem is, is Panasonic isn't around anymore as far as I know, and I can't find anything that would match this. I wanted something that would just, this cable would plug right into the back of. But I went and talked to an audio place, and they said the best thing to do is just basically wire it all up and bring it up to here like they do these days because the old school uses that brain and you don't need that anymore so we're going to bring it up to date and this is basically how i'm going to do it so i'll show you a little bit along the way and uh try to explain as best as i can okay first things first i removed the wiring harness from the back of the new radio and they already have them pre-cut so all you do is pull the ends off and then you got your wires. So what I'm doing with these smaller wires, which is your speaker wires, I just twist them just a little bit and then I am folding them in half like this. And then I'm twisting them until they wrap around themselves. And then once they wrap around themselves, makes it a little easier to stick it in the butt, butt splice. And then once they're in there, you crimp them. And then if you want to, you can give it a little tug, make sure it doesn't come off. But So I'm going to get all of these knocked out. And once I get all of these done, then I'm going to show you what the old screen looks like. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to start uh, extending the wires from down there. All right, I got to figure out why, but for some reason the video is not working, but that's what the screen looks like. So that's part of the reason I'm changing it. And then for some reason it will not uh, 
open and close like it's supposed to. So, you know, let me set the camera back and I'll show you. We'll see if it'll, if it'll close conveniently. It's working now that I'm trying to video it. So, but on this one, you hit the open close button. And that's what it does. So that part's working right now for some reason. But I'm not sure why the video is not working. I'm going to plug it up to the new head unit and we'll go from there and see if it's not working. Then I may just change the camera out too. So, uh, but that's the next step. We're going to take all of this stuff out and then uh, I'm going to plug it up. So I'm going to show you where I'm going from here with it. So I'm going to take the new cable with the new AV wires and I'm going to come down here. I already unscrewed this from the wall and uh, this is what it looks like. So um, you got your box here. This is all your, your um, cables for audio video and it's all, it says what each one of them is. Like this one right here is your your rear left speaker, all of that good stuff. So then this is all my audio video cables over here that come into this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug all of those into here so I don't lose which one's what. And I'm pretty sure I got enough wire for those to run up to where I need to be. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. This is the carpet that used to be in here. So we changed it out to the hardwood floors. It came out pretty good. But anyway, that's going to be the next step. So I'm going to move these into this and then just run this up there to the back of the new head unit. But that's where I'm going to start now. And then when I do this, I'm going to clip each individual wire uh, somewhere in this vicinity and then put an end on it. And then I'm going to match it uh, up to the, the back of the other head unit using that wire that I showed you earlier. So... Hey, cool. So, what was a few seconds for you was about 40 minutes of laying on the floor fighting with wires <laughs> for me. But basically, I had to get the book out that was for this one. Luckily, they had it so that I could find out what some of the wires were because conveniently, uh, they were not marked. But on here, the blue and yellow stripe is your parking brake reverse is the violet with the white stripe and then you got a yellow and red which one is a battery one's just your regular acc power which is your accessory and then the ground lead that uh don't have on this one and then the rest of them is your gray white green and purple for your uh wire your speaker wires so those are pretty good but i connected all of those the same and then the other ones i just had to figure out what they were now they're all marked on the new one so you can read i don't know if it's focusing or not so you can see right rear you know battery all of that stuff reverse so it's all marked and you just match them up and then most of the other ones are marked as well and then you got your fuse so i got my cables hooked up for my reverse camera which is this one here not 100% sure what the rest of these go to. They're audio for something. So we'll figure that out. And then that was the old power cable for the uh, the brain, we'll call it. So I'm going to route this to the uh, up here and get it all plugged up. And let's see if it works before I completely install it. All right, so we have success. I got the new head unit in. Let's see here, I got, so it's gonna get loud for a second, but I'm gonna show you, I got the camera working. There you go. All right, and uh, it plays music. I can't do that because of copyright issues, but we got a speaker up there and one up there, and then the two in the back work as well. Um, I'm not sure why the ones in the back bedroom don't work. I'm gonna have to figure that out too. I got two cables that are uh, audio, there are video, not video, audio cables that I think come from the CD changer up top that I have to reroute because they won't reach. So I have to figure out what the, where I can route those to where they'll reach. But overall, I got it all knocked out. So just a little recap. I pulled the brain out down there, rewired everything. So I got some wire cleaning up to do. I made sure I had plenty enough slack. 
and then um, I got the new CD changer installed there. As you can see, you just need a single video cable from the back camera to make it work. So, yay, something finally went right the first time as of now. Hopefully that doesn't change. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to tidy up these wires and then um, that'll be about it. So if you got any questions, uh, leave it down in the comments or... If you got any comments or see something I messed up or didn't do right, let me know. But uh, this is what I went with. A Baudio, uh, Boss Audio touchscreen. So, works good. We're going to clean everything up. And by the way, I haven't figured out the cigarette lighter issue either. So, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. And until uh, next time, keep bringing your dreams to reality. Later.